Hey guys, and welcome to another lesson. We're going to get right into it today. <clears throat> Let me open our Ingu website that we always use. As I mentioned in every video, you guys can go to ingu.com and read your own articles and go through the vocabulary, go through the material that you go through. And you can even do it with a friend if you want to practice your English with another friend. Go for it. They've got a lot of articles here related to news around the world. And um, they also have one-on-one -on -one lessons. If you want, if you're interested in that, you can contact them and see what they have to offer. All right. Well, let's get going. What shall we do today? Personalities may have changed during pandemic. Well, let's see if it changed. This is an advanced one, but let's start off with the vocabulary. So seeing as it's advanced, like I always say, I'm going to read through it. And then I'd like you to hit pause. You read through it. Make sure you got the pronunciation down. If you're not sure about the definition that they give here, you can still type it into Google. Just say like trait and meaning, and they'll give you all the different meanings that it can, or all the, all the different contexts that it can be used in. So, yeah. Well, let's get right to it. First one, trait, a quality or characteristic that someone or something has. Golden retrievers have traits that make them excellent family dogs. Next one, latter happening or placed closer to the end of something than the beginning relating to the second of two people or things. It wasn't until the latter half of the 20th century that air travel became affordable. Next one, sociable, wanting to talk to, spend time with, etc. other people. Sarah didn't have any trouble making friends at her new job because she's so sociable. Next word, trusting showing or tending to have the belief that other people are honest and trustworthy. She's always been far too trusting of people. The last one, stable, not changing nor likely to change or fail. My son has been in a stable relationship with his girlfriend for a few years now. Okay. So let's go to our article again. I'm going to read through this and you can hit pause after each little passage read it make sure you got the pronunciation or you can wait all the way till the end and read the whole thing at one time whatever you feel most comfortable with all right so let's see what they say studies or study personalities may have changed during pandemic a recent study suggests that people uh, people's personalities may have changed during the coronavirus pandemic and that younger people experienced the greatest changes the authors of the study published in the journal plus one wanted to study how a stressful global event can affect personality they looked at data from more than 7,000 people whose personalities was were examined in the understanding america study using an online survey five traits of personality were measured once before the pandemic and then again during the pandemic the latter surveys were either completed in 2020 in the earlier days of the pandemic or later in the pandemic between 2021 and 2022. The five personality traits were neuroticism, how much a person experiences negative feelings and stress, extroversion, how outgoing and sociable a person is, openness, how interested in new ideas and experiences a person is, agreeableness how friendly and trusting a person is and conscientiousness how organized and responsible a person is okay the researchers found that the researchers found there were differences in personality changes earlier and later in the pandemic among those surveyed in 2020 researchers found that levels of neuroticism actually decreased but other traits did not change however for those surveyed in 2021 to 2022, there was no significant, significant change in neuroticism compared to before the pandemic. But the other four traits decreased. And while small, this researcher said that such levels of change would normally take a decade to occur. The researchers also found significant differences when they compared the data for different age groups. Among those measured in 2021 to 2022, 
Neurotic neuroticism levels actually increased for younger adults under 30 and agreeableness and conscientiousness decreased much more in younger adults than in older adults. Hmm. Uh, psychologists believe that people's personalities are normal stable after the age of 30, which might explain why young people were more affected by the pandemic than older people. However, the study, the study's authors also suggest that the differences between the ages may be because younger people were affected by different challenges during the pandemic, such as school closure and problems finding jobs. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, let's go right to the discussion questions. As always, I'm going to read it and then I'll answer it in the way that I would answer if we were talking to each other. I'd like you again to hit pause either before I answer or after I answer, and then you can say something or you can listen to me first and then add something, whatever you feel best, or you can switch it up, whatever you like. So number one, what are your thoughts on the findings of the study? It's interesting, I suppose. Uh, but also not that surprising. I mean, it's a global pandemic. It's something that affected many, many, everybody. It, it affected everybody. And uh, some people probably worse than others. And if you go through such a challenging thing, then it can have effects, you know. I mean, throughout your whole life, your person, like they say, it, maybe it takes decades to change because you experience difficulties and then things go well again and then there's difficulties and then this you know life is full of up, ups and downs and um if you experience all of that in a very short amount of time yeah it can change you in the same way that over a long period of time we change as well i mean i'm not i'm so different from the person that i was when i was 20 years old i mean we all change, but I can imagine that it will speed up the change. All right, number two, do you think the pandemic had any impact on your personality? I doubt it. I doubt it strongly because I've been working online since before the pandemic. So it didn't affect my work. It didn't affect my work environment. It didn't affect me at all. Um, yeah, I was quite fortunate in that regard. Number three, do you find it surprising that young people experience the biggest personality changes as a result of the pandemic? Uh, no, because the same as what they say, you know, when you're younger, we're still changing and we're still finding ourselves and we still make mistakes and things like that. So um, I was a mess in my 20s. I was up and down, emotional. I made so many emotional decisions. It's crazy. Uh, but as you get older, you understand certain consequences you understand how life and things work and yeah so i'm not surprised that young people were all over the place number four what do you make of the idea that people's personalities remain stable after the age of 30. um yeah i do think they 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 comes a point in your life where you start becoming more stable i would say maybe for me it's been the past like five years so from like 35 but like i said i was a complete mess in my 20s so maybe a little later for me uh, but there is a time when you know you reach a point and maturity sets in and uh, yeah we we get a grip on how things work so i do agree i do agree with that in your opinion, what are the most desirable personality traits? Oh, I mean, <laughs> I think the most desirable personality traits is a balance of all of them. Because if you just too much of anything, it's not good. Um, so I don't think there's one. If you if, say, for example, somebody might think like, oh, agreeableness, um, that sounds great if somebody has that they always agree and they'll always you know they're, they're always kind of just go with the flow but you want some sometimes you want somebody that'll challenge you if you're making a mistake you need somebody that'll go like hey you can't do that or hey what are you doing you know so you need some pushback sometimes in your life and so i think a balance of all of it's good too much or too little of any of those might not be that good 
So give me straight down the middle. All right, number one for further discussion. Have you ever taken a personality test? Yes, I have many, um, but it's all these online things, so you don't know how accurate they actually are. Uh, I did, I did take one just after high school at a university, though. But I don't even remember the results of that because that was more my parents wanted me to do that so they could kind of help me figure things out. But I was so not interested in any of those kind of things when I was younger. So I didn't take any note of it. I should have. I should have. I, yeah. But I know there is, there is a personality. Is it a personality test? I think there is one now out there that I'm quite interested in taking, but I, it's quite expensive and I, I don't need, I kind of know myself already, so I don't need <laughs> to spend a lot of money to, for somebody else to just tell me what I kind of know already. So number two, would you say you're a good judge of character? Yes. Yes. I love looking at people, analyzing things, listening to what they're saying, listening to, you know, where they, not just listening to what a person says, but like try and figure out where they're coming from, look at their history and what makes them think the way they think and say the things they say and all of these. So I love analyzing people. Um, so I'm, I, without sounding too cocky about it, but I do think I'm a good judge of character. Number three, do you have any friends whose personalities are very different from yours? Yes, of course. Yeah. I've got friends from all different walks of life, and I, and I enjoy that. And many of my friends won't be able to hang out with each other. You know, I've got a group of friends from this, a group there, a group like that, a group like this, and they might hate each other, but I can get along with almost any kind of person. So, yeah, I have a lot. Number four, which of the people you know have the most admirable personality traits? Um, I always say my brother-in-law. If there's like an example for me of a good person is him. He would... You know, he would do the right thing even if nobody's there. And even if he knows that he won't get caught, he'd still be like, no, this is the right thing to do. I have to do this. And uh, it's not lazy. He's not, he doesn't procrastinate. He is just a great guy. Number five, knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. Aristotle, what do you make of this statement? Yes. 100%. You should know yourself. You should know your weaknesses. You should know everything about yourself. Because um, we all have weaknesses. Every Everybody has some form of weakness. They have something they struggle with, some things that's easy for them. And if you know, you know, if you know where you want to go in life and you know your weaknesses, you can already plan to avoid getting trapped by your own weaknesses. So, yeah. You should know yourself and you should know how to manipulate your surroundings so that you don't fall in traps and things that you are aware of of yourself. So, yeah. All right. Well, that is everything again. Let me just stop it there. It's a quick one today. But, uh, yeah, like I said, just try and do a little bit every day do one of these lessons every day and uh, remember speak use the language try and you have to use it don't just listen to me talk you have to say you have to pause and speak you can type in the comments you can type in english everything's a good exercise so just use the language all right so enjoy your day your evening your wherever you are. <laughs> See you guys next time. Bye-bye.